Welcome brothers and sisters. Welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today in this topic we will talk about 777, the story of Laban and Jacob. Brothers and sisters, we see the story of Laban and Jacob in the in Genesis chapter 29, verse 15. Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me what, you sh what should your wages be? Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were delicate, but Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. Now Jacob loved Rachel, so he said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Laban said, It is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed only a few days to him because of the love he had for her. If we look at our triple seven, we look at seven, 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 then we see here now the first seven completed. And they were completed in a very quick manner, because it was great years for Jacob. He was longing for Rachel and he saw her every day and he was happy and the seven years have finished very quickly. This is exactly the time period that we are in now. This is a time period where everybody is saying, the Lord is coming to take the bride. The bride is Rachel. Everybody is saying, the Lord is coming now and a great rapture will happen with the bride. But Rachel is the bride. So let us see what happens next. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go into her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast, a wedding feast. Now it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob. And he went into her. And Laban gave his maid Silpa to his daughter Leah as a maid. So it came to pass in the morning that, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why then have you deceived me? And Laban said, I, it must not be done so in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week and then we'll continue later. Now, if you see in this picture that the firstborn must go first and not the bride. And we see now that we are in the, at the end of the first seven years of the work of Jacob and Everybody expects that the bride will be married, that the bride will go. But it will not be so. After the first seven, the firstborn will go. The escape of the innocent will take place. The small group, the firstborn of the harvest, the firstborn of the rapture will go. A very small group will go. Not the bride. Because what is written further in Genesis 29 is, on verse 27, Fulfill her week, the week of Leah, and we will give you this one also, Rachel, for the service which you will serve with me still another seven years. So when will the bride be united with Jacob? After another seven years from this time period, now, another seven years, then we will have the, 
the rapture of the church of the bride at Mount Zion uh, in the sixth seal and then Rachel will be united with the bridegroom. But that is not the end. This is not the end. If you continue now to get an understanding of 777, then one seven is missing. Then we should ask ourselves, what is another seven? Let's have a look what Genesis 29 says. Verse 28. Then Jacob did so and fulfilled her week. So he gave him his daughter Rachel as wife also after seven years. And Laban gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as a maid. Then Jacob also went into Rachel, and he also loved Rachel more than Leah. And he served with Laban still another seven years. So, how long has he served? Seven? For hope, hoping to get Rachel but received Leah? Seven for Rachel? And then seven he served Laban. So who, who are the people of the last seven years? Laban is a Jewish father-in-law. So he serves there for the law. He serves there for the Jewish father. He serves there for the house of Judah. So we have seven, seven, seven. The first seven completed now. The escape of the innocent. Leah will be betrothed to Jacob. Then another seven years starting now, the seal tribulation, bringing us to Mount Zion. After seven years, the bride will go into the rapture onto Mount Zion. And then another seven years, the great tribulation, the trumpet tribulation will start when we will see Jacob serving the Jewish household, the house of Judah, Laban, the father-in-law. So we have seven, seven, seven. And this is a great picture, a great revelation of the Lord, how our end times will unfold. Have the last seven years not passed very quickly? Yes, because they were great years and we were looking forward we were looking forward for the coming of Jesus and he is coming but he is not coming for the bride now for Rachel he will come for the firstborn because the Lord has said the firstborn are mine and the firstborn must go first and the firstborns are the children who are innocent under the age of accountability, the disabled ones. The firstborn of the rapture is a small group of selected people who cannot defend themselves when they have to stay within the seal tribulation. Then the seal tribulation will start the seven years to work for the bride, the final task of the bride here on earth to bring in the harvest, to work for the Lord, to, to bring forth great revival, to show that light to the nations. This is also the time of the Antichrist, where we will see him rising to power, where he will stand against us, against the light of God, against the ambassadors of heaven. And we will face him, but we will overcome. And we will stand at the base of Mount Zion, at the sixth seal, and there we will be raptured into paradise. And our wedding will take place. The bride will be taken. Rachel will go to the Lord at that time. Then, when the Christians have gone out, the final seven years will start the trumpet tribulation. In this first three and a half years of the trumpet tribulation, the Lord will build the temple in Jerusalem. It will be his millennium temple. You will see no temple built until that time period. You can rest assured of this that no temple will be built until that time. The Antichrist will not sit in the temple. Satan will sit in the temple. Satan is the one who wants to be like God. Antichrist is the one who wants to, to be like Jesus. 
And he will stand against Antichrist, against the Christians, and Satan will stand against the house of Judah, the Jews. 777. Seven, seven. This is the explanation of the end times, the story of Laban and Jacob. The first seven years have passed. We are now at the verge of the escape of the innocent. When Leah will be taken out, the firstborn of the rapture will go. The end seven years of sealed tribulation. Then Rachel will be married, the bride. The church will be raptured into paradise at Mount Zion. And then the time for the Jews will come. The Jewish father in law Laban, Laban's time will come. When Jesus will walk in their midst, when they will start to finally accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But still Satan will come in and has his time for three and a half years. And at the end of it, Jesus will come down, feet down on the Mount of Olives, Armageddon, and start of his Millennium Kingdom. 777. Seven, seven. So brothers and sisters, what have we left now? Our one seven is passed, so what is left is 77. Fourteen seven. years left until all is completed. But do not forget one thing, that seven years are very special to the Lord, and seven years are the Shemitahs. So we have six years of labor, one year that's holy to the Lord. The seventh is holy to the Lord, it's a rest year. So we will expect to stand at the base of Mount Zion after six years. So latest in 2026, we should stand at the base of Mount Zion, ready to be raptured into paradise. Until then, our work is to bring in the harvest of the ages. So many prophets are telling you now, arise my bride, arise my bride, your time has come to shine. Arise now seven more years, six years of labor, one year of rest, and you will be with me and forever in all eternity. Many prophets are receiving the messages, many people are receiving the messages that this is the time now for them to arise. Seven more years for the bride. Bring in the harvest. The harvest of the ages. Fulfill your duty as a son or daughter of the kingdom of heaven. We talked about that. That is your duty to pre represent the kingdom, to present the principles of heaven to the people, to live the kingdom. This is the second seven now, where we are going into. Opening of the seal, seal tribulations, antichrist appearing, our work, our light, our revival, our harvest for the Lord, all be done in the name of the Father. Our return to the kingdom, our becoming the true bride that will then be raptured and married at Mount Zion. And then, after we have gone to Mount Zion, and at there, the 144,000 are sealed to continue the work for the Lord in the trumpet tribulation. The last seven will then start. And it will all end around 2033, 2034. Exactly 2000 years after Jesus died on the cross. Exactly as it was prophesied. Exactly as it said, after two days I will revive you. After 2000 years I will come and I will make a glorious kingdom here on earth where you will have one king, one face, and walk in complete unity. Our time now, this seven years, is our time of preparation, our time of dress rehearsal of the Millennium Kingdom, our time of coming close to the Father, our time of a new level, of a new connection with the Kingdom of Heaven, and our time to bring in the harvest, our time to stand in our neighborhoods and to invite the people to the great harvest, to the kingdom, invite them to Mount Zion. This is our time, because we are Rachel, we are the true bride, and the true bride will go after seven years, six 
the seven years' rest will be gone to Mount Zion. But now an escape will take place of the firstborn. Yes, maybe some of you might go because you are made yourself ready. But it will be a small group, as you see in the harvesting picture. First a small harvest will be taken out. Then the great field will be harvested. And then the corners of the field will be harvested. What was given to the poor and to the strangers. And then everything is completed. So it's always threefold. And in the same way we have seven, seven, seven. And now what is left is seven, seven. This is a great understanding, the great revelation of the Lord for the end times. That will not take anything away from Daniel's prophecies. Daniel's prophecies is either uh, twofold or threefold, or it is just for the house of Judah for the final seven years. Because it's true, there is a final seven years. There is a great tribulation. But is not also the seal tribulation a great tribulation? If you compare it to the first seven years that have passed so easily, if you use it in the words of, of Jacob so quickly, the last seven years were very quick. Now it's the time that the children will go, the innocent ones will go, the firstborn will go. And a few special ones who made their garments so clean that they are ready to go right now. And then the, the bride, the true bride of Christ will start her work in the nations to bring in the harvest, to bring forth a multitude closed and white that nobody could number from all nations and all tongues to stand at the base of Mount Zion and there to be raptured into paradise. Our time is here, brothers and sisters. We are part of the true bride. Even if you see now the innocent escaping right now, do not worry. The bride has not gone. The bride is going at Mount Zion. Rachel is the bride. Rachel was the one that the Lord wants. But the firstborn must go first. Then the bride. And then the work can be done for the house of Judah, for the Jews, represented by Laban, the father-in-law, the Jewish father-in-law. 777. The story of Laban and Jacob and the end times explained. Now you know, brothers and sisters, where you are, where you are within the timeline. The marriage of Leah, the firstborn, the escape of the innocent is at hand. Then seven more years for our rupture of the true bride to paradise. Then seven more years for the, the house of Judah, the Jews, to find Jesus Christ. When we are already together with the Father on a new level. This is a new revelation that hopefully you understand, because it's important. You should not be dismayed when you see the first group, the firstborn going right now. But on the contrary, you say, now, now it's a time when we will step out to fulfill our final task. And then we will go. So you will have the power to walk another seven years as Jacob did for labor. Now you will work another seven years for the Father, and then you will go and stand before the throne of God. Brothers and sisters, 777, the story of Laban and Jacob, the end times explained. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranath.